Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas, not a real big one. I'm just going to work on a smaller canvas today. And what I'm going to do is just a straight pour or dirty pour on here and I'm going to try and get some pearl cells. I watched Tammy Anderson art the other day and I want to give her credit. She went into detail about the recipe you use for your base coat and then your paints. And so let's go over those. My base coat is going to be the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And that was three parts Floetrol, two parts paint, uh, one part GAC 800, and uh, one half part of Liquitex Gloss Medium, and then a half a part of Satin Enamel. And so that's, that's going to be the base coat. And my paints today are going to be Liquitex Basic Silver, Amsterdam Pearl Violet, Color Shift, Black Flash, And the last two colors are the Liquitex Soft Body Acrylics. I have the Muted Turquoise. Very pretty color there. And also the Muted Violet. The only paint I had to, paints I had to add water to today are the Liquitex Basics, the Silver and the Amsterdam Pearl Violet. The rest being soft bodied paints, they're really liquidy paints, so I did not add any water. And the pouring medium for those was one part paint, one part Floetrol, um, a squirt of the Liquitex uh, me uh, Gloss Medium, and like I said, just water in those two paints, and no silicone added today. Let me show you consistency. We'll do it with the silver here. It is, uh, maybe it leaves a little trace, not much. So what I'm gonna do is uh, stop the camera. I'm gonna put down my base coat and then I'm going to fill my little cup here. Just have a real little cup. And then I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Enamel. And I've got my cup filled. You can see it's a very full cup here. And what I'm going to do is put a little puddle of my base coat down in the middle. And I'm just going to do a dirty pour or straight pour right in the middle. Okay, and I am going to give that a quick torch before I start tipping. And I'm also going to put some of the base coat around the colored paint here to help it move and to try and glide over it. Again, I'm trying to get the pearl cells today. We'll see if I can achieve that. Okay, let's just start tipping. Like I said, I'm trying to tip over that paint that I added. where possible. Bring it back into the middle. Very pretty colors here today.
bring it over that corner and bring it back. And I'll bring it over this corner. With this type of pour, you do want to try and thin your paints out on your canvas to let those pearl cells pop up from below. And I'm going to, again, pour in this corner and just take off some of this blue. Probably take off all of it and bring it back. And take a look at it here a minute. Becks are really, really pretty. And I do, I actually do like this negative space. I'm going to try and tip it this way. Okay, you can bring it back down here. I'm going to have to take off some of that negative space there. Get rid of some more of this paint. In this corner. And I will bring it back. Letting a little bit paint off over on this edge over here, my far edge. And I'll bring it back. I may take this corner off here too. And bring that back. And I really think the color that's really beautiful in here is that muted violet. Okay. Just cleaning off the bottoms here with my hands a little bit. Taking a look at it. Really, really loving the effects I got here. Really, really pretty, like right down in here. In, in the center is really pretty too. So let's give it a torch. I 
I do have uh, pearl sales coming up. And with time, even more will come up. really think this turned out pretty. Clean the bottom off here quick. Check my corners. This is a really a good pour for beginners to do. I really like what's uh, starting to uh, evolve right here. See all those little cells coming up there in between those stripes. Very pretty. Okay, so let's get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And again, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I did a dirty or straight pour on. And I used some satin enamel to try and get some pearly cells. So here's the upper left-hand corner. Moving down the left-hand side here. I think these colors just really played well together. And I have quite a few of the little cells coming up. Here's the lower left hand corner. And this is what is so pretty as you can see that that muted the muted blue underneath there trying to come up through that violet. Really nice in here with all these rings and stripes. And there is actually that black, very shiny, black flash. And the center turned out very, very nice. This is the lower right-hand corner, taking you up the right-hand side here. Here's where I thought that the effects are really nice too. And this is the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.